In a small town in Maine, an unsettling excitement pervaded the air. The carnival was in town. Candle lights flickered as a hushed silence befell the crowd. The show was about to begin. Stepping into the spotlight was the human skeleton. Gaunt, with an otherworldly thinness, he might have been the living embodiment of famine itself. Yet his demeanor was anything but somber. Dressed impeccably in a tailored suit, with a twinkle in his eye and a debonair charm, he bowed with the grace of a gentleman from centuries past. Following him was a man who seemed to scrape the heavens. Over ten feet tall, this gentle giant towered over everyone, his limbs elongated like ancient redwoods. The tense ground trembled as the lizard man bounded into the center. The audience gasped as he scaled a pillar, clinging to it effortlessly, his tongue flicking out intermittently. A hush settled again as an ethereal beauty emerged. The mermaid with a mosaic of scales tattooed exquisitely across her skin and a fishtail that glittered like the treasures of the deep swayed seductively. Then, with a roar that could rival any lion's, the bearded lady took the stage. Challenging any man to oppose her, she showcased her strength, lifting heavy weights and bending iron rods. They were treated to yet another marvel. There, suspended in the air, with no strings or supports, the levitating man hovered above them. Nearby, the human doll stood poised. An adult, yet with the cherubic features and proportions of a porcelain plaything. A growl broke the night's trance. The emotional werewolf, a juxtaposition of a man. One moment he was wild-eyed and feral, his roars sending shivers down spines. The next he slumped, tears streaming, wailing in despair. And for those who wish to glimpse into the unknown, the fortune teller beckoned. But before the night could unfold further, nature's fury intervened. Dark clouds gathered at an unnatural speed. What had been a clear night turned ominous as a roaring tornado touched down, its monstrous funnel aiming straight for the heart of the carnival. Screams pierced the air as the audience, performers and staff of the carnival sought shelter, desperately trying to evade the tornado's wrath. Children clung to their parents, eyes wide with terror. As quickly as it had descended, the tornado lifted, leaving behind a trail of devastation. Tents lay in tatters, stalls were overturned, and the grounds were littered with debris. In the days that followed, townsfolk would whisper about the night. Some said it was a sign, a divine warning about meddling with the odd and the mysterious. Others just recalled it as the most thrilling night of their lives. But all agreed on one thing, the carnival, in all its dark and wondrous glory, was a resounding success.